Hello, my name is William and in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect to a execution server, JBPM execution server, to build data sets that will allow you to create business dashboards. So for this video I will be using um, JBPM and if you go to jbpm.org you can JB download JBPM. So this big green button here will allow you to download the installation that will um, allows you to follow the same steps I will be following in this video. So once you download it and run it, you will be able to access Business Central. And of course you can, we have Docker images, but uh, the what matters is that at the end you will be having to access Business Central. So I have it already running here, and this is Business Central. Um, for a brief brief introduction, Business Central is a web application uh, which allows you to do multiple things. One of the things is creating your own business project. And these projects can contain business processes and rules and optimizers and a lot of other things related to process and process automation. And once you finish the work in the project, you can then um, deploy it to a execution server that will be connected to Business Central and once it is running on an execution server then you can manage the process definitions that are inside the execution server you can start new process definitions you can manage human tasks and other things from Business Central and finally once you have quite a few you know um, business process instance you can then use the business central to monitor what's happening inside the execution server so we have some built-in reports in business central and we have other you know more um, more full introduction about business central this is just a, a brief one um, I just wanted to show you what is business central and to create our data sets of course we need some data and to have some data we need some project with business process so let's go to design and then click on projects we have here the space space is a collection of projects let me import a simple project to my installation we will import in this evaluation process because it's a very simple one you can of course create your own and follow the same steps oh as I say this is a very simple one I just have the business process itself a form to enter data for the the tasks from the process and also the process itself form let me click on the process uh, form and this, this is the first time I run this the, you know installation that I put locally so everything's fresh that's why it may take, take a few seconds so we have here this process, a very simple one we don't have to go deep into explaining what's happening here but basically we we have this start of the process and when someone start the process uh, he or she will be required to enter the username of someone that will be evaluated then this task here will be designed to the user that has been under evaluation uh, he or she will have to evaluate himself or herself then two other tasks will be started for HR and PM evaluation once this task finishes the process finishes as well so yeah you can you know modify this process and learn more about it by clicking here and check the properties on the right side but now we don't want to modify anything so let me just um, save it I didn't do anything but let me just save it and let's say that now we want to you know run this process itself we can do this here because you know this is just the process definition I will go here and click on this deploy button it's building the project and okay so the project was built and now it's running on a execution server if we go here to execution servers and by the way the GBPM uh, installation where brings everything you know uh, ready for you so we have one execution server already 
um, connected to Business Central and you can see that my project is here now so I, it means that I can go here to process definitions and start that process that I just showed you guys so let me click here on your process instance this is the process form I will start the process for the crazy user which is the user that you know I'm logging in okay so I start a process if you go here to process instance we can see that we have a running process we can see the running process diagram uh, you can see that it's the, the red the highlighted task is the task where it stopped right now so it stopped at the self-evaluation task it's a human task so I can go here to tasks and you see here's the self-evaluation task I can start it give some performance I can of course Chris is, is a good employee and now we have the two other tasks and if you go here to process instance we can see that the process moving, you know, this test is now finished, so the process is stopped, waiting for these two tasks to be finished. Okay, so, <laughs> ah, and finally we can go out to these reports and see what's going on. So we have one process instance that the one we just started, and it will start today, you know, and all the, all the process uh, are from type evaluation anyway. So these are, you know, generic reports about the, the business product that are running we have also some generic report about the human tasks so we have one task here for the evaluation process and uh, one task was completed so uh, one third of the tasks were completed and two are still waiting are in ready ready state waiting to be completed so you know as the process Part, we also have this task generic report so yeah as I said uh, this is generic I want to build my own so what we should do so we must create our own data sets and if you check here uh, okay, let me show it here okay so yeah to create the data set you have to connect to the execution server and the execution server to keep track of what's happening to connect to a database and the data set needs to send queries to that database our problem here is that we have a lot of tables in JBPM you know tables uh, it's here for you know for quite a few years I think JBPM is 10 years more than 10 years old probably 15 years old so uh, who is working a lot of time with JBPM they know a lot about these tables and from these tables you can create your um, process indicators you can create some crazy joints here to build your your uh, KPI and you know key process indicators and retrieve the information from here okay so let's create one just to show you how to create it so to create your own source of information you go to this admin tool here click on data set and then you select new data set then you select execution server give it a name no process nodes for example here on this server config here the uh, JNDI name you can leave it it is don't modify don't change it and the server configuration select the server you want to run that query against we have only one server at this moment the target I always always use custom. You probably will also always want to use the query target as custom. And I I am select everything from this table here. Select all from node instance log. Let me show you this table. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is the table that I'm selecting everything and it contains information about all the nodes from all the processes that are running on the execution server okay so once you click I click on test it shows all the nodes that were executed so I have quite a few records here now I click next I can save and I can add some comments so you know people can refer to why I created this dataset later
this will be the in a git repo star with all the history of what happened on business central but this is a subject for another video so yeah we have here our data set now we can use it to build our own report and to do that we go to the menu again select pages and I have no page here I can create my own page and again everything I'm talking about here I will add videos in the I will add links in the description with more information and videos that can clarify more for dashboards for example we made a key live that talks everything about dashboards and the same for JBPM and now when creating a page I can drag some of the reporting tools here for example bar chart let me select this bar chart here I can select now my data set and remember this data set is running a query inside the execution server so let me select it okay uh, for example let's say if I want to count by all the nodes and group them by count, uh, by uh, count the node names, count the nodes and put the categories of the node name. For example, I know here that we have two instances of self-evaluation. I can explain why, but I won't do this month or this video will get really, really, really bigger. And anyway, so we have two instances of nodes sort of self-evaluation and one for each of these tasks and I can come here and modify as I want for example I can change this okay anyway you can then create your own report here as you want it's fun to create report that's why I keep not nothing related to what I want to show but it's fun to create reports once you finish your work you can again uh, total number of nodes something like that you can have you can see how work look like let me take the time that I'm here Once you finish our work, you can make it available. Not all users that can enter Business Center will be able to create pages. So you can come um, here to the navigation and then, for example, under design, you can come here and add the page to the menu. So now we have here the page. Users can access it. You can, of course, make something that looks better. But the point is that we we were able to connect to the execution server, retrieve some information, and then build a report. So now we have you know we have an issue here. If I let you guys with this, you know that uh, these queries. Where do you get start to learn about these queries? Uh, how do you create your own queries? That will be, uh, from my experience, that will be the biggest change challenge when you know creating this kind of reports. I work with users for many years and I know that the biggest challenge is when creating the data sets. So yeah, uh, in Business Central if you go here behind this report, this built-in report, we also have some queries. So what we did is we exported these queries and made them public so you can import in your installation. Okay? So let me show you this. So if you go to the admin again down there you note this tool here dash build data transfer it's what helps you to um, move data from one installation to another so what I did I exported all the internal queries to the zip file here I would of course let the link on the description and if I don't please uh, comment something in the video if you are watching this and then I can uh, add the link to it so you can download this zip file, I already did, I already downloaded this. You go to this tool, you select the zip file, you upload it, and then import. Okay, so see I import a lot of data sets. So now, remember the data sets tool? If I go back there again, see these are all the data sets I imported. 
I, I, I imported and we have here a lot of cool data sets um, for example this data set shows the human tests that we have in our installation and you can now use this to build your own reports okay so that's basically what I want to show but before I finish this video what I want to let you know is that um, what are the problems you may have when importing the zip to your installation so the first thing uh, you may have it running KBP installation and the server configuration is not same server, sample server so you have to go to each of these queries and then modify the server configuration to be uh, the one that you are using and if you don't want all these queries don't worry you can just import them and delete or I like it most, most let me download this again to show you or you can just open simply open the zip file go to the data sets inside the zip file this is all before importing open this JSON here looking for our server template ID and change this to match the server template ID of what you have in your installation and let me go here to uh, ba -ba -ba, business central uh, execution servers see this is the server template ID this is what you can you may want oops uh, you may want to use here so I have sample server sample server so if you fix this the queries will run on your installation so that's it guys I hope I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to bring you more entire video next time thank you